Sam. I just thought I'd jump on with another kind of catch up where I'm up to kind of video. I'm hoping you sat through the really long one on my Coco Daisy journal. So thank you if you have watched that. This one won't be so long, but this is a similar thing. Just kind of catching up with where I'm up to with my project life. As you all know, I've had a bit of a gap and I, yeah, I'm trying to get back into it. So I thought what I'll do is I'll film where I'm up to videos and then you lot can keep me accountable for catching up. <laughs> That's kind of the plan. So I've done my Coco Daisies, so you can check that out and see where I'm up to with those. And I've changed how I'm doing those quite a lot as well, so hopefully you've seen that. And this is my project life, which is pitiful, I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, this is this year's, so 2019. And this, I had baby Ava at the end of 2018, end of October, and it's all just gone to pot, to be honest. I, I think my challenge now is that I've always been determined to stick to two albums a year, so I do six monthly albums. Um, which means I have to stick to one double spread per week because otherwise it doesn't fit. And I all of a sudden started taking 5,000 photos a week of this baby and they don't fit. <laughs> so I'm kind of, yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. So I've, I've relaxed a little bit. I, I really tried at the beginning of this year to do one week, one week, one spread, one week, one spread. It's not working. There's too many pictures. I don't want to not include them. I want pictures of her as a baby in my albums. So I've just kind of relaxed and said, do you know what, I'll do as many spreads as it needs to be done. So I'll probably end up with about 15 albums for this year, but hey ho, hopefully it'll settle down as she gets older. So I'll show you where I'm up to. It's awful. It will take me about two minutes because it, I haven't done anything. So, and apologies for the glare. We obviously, as you know, live in the UK and there's no sunshine. So I have to use my ring light, but it does bounce off these. So... I've got 20, oh, I've got a spare, spare cover in here. This is shocking. I've no cover page, 2019. I've got my Coco Daisy bits in here that says 2019, but no cover page. So I have, what can we see? What can we see? Not much, sorry. It doesn't quite fit in camera and now I'm bashing the tripod. So this is week one. I have got some photos in and I've slotted my cards in, in the gaps. So, but that's it. I've got no journaling. I've not made it pretty. I've done nothing. Week two is the same. Now week two is when I started realizing that I wasn't gonna fit it all on one spread, so it's got this extra tip in. So week two is actually four pages. Um, again, not managed to get anything done. Managed to get my photos printed and in, not managed to do anything with them. Stuck a couple of cards in where I've got gaps, but not all of them, like that one's a gap that hasn't got anything in. So I've got tons to do, but I've got managed to get my photos in. So mm, I suppose it's not, not as bad. Um, and again, this is week three, which needed a tip in because there were so many pictures. But also, it's not just that there's so many pictures that it needs a tip in. If you look, the tip in is full and all the spreads are full. There's no cards, there's no journaling space, there's nothing. So I might need to spread it out onto an extra side. Which is so, I think, yeah, week four was when I thought, this isn't working. I need some room to journal, I need some room to decorate. So I've left deliberately left gaps there and I've left a gap there so I can at least put a little bit in. Some of the pictures I'll be able to journal on because there's gaps. Sorry, it's going slightly off screen. But I was struggling. So that is literally all I've done for 2019. But I wanted to jump on and show you how I've managed to kind of keep on track. As in, I've, I've planned. I've planned it. I know what I'm doing. I just need to get time to do it. So as you can see, these photos are in and this is my attempt these are these are notes of which photo goes in which spot on my phone which i can't show you because i'm filming on unfortunately they i have an album each week so whenever i get a chance every couple of days i go through my phone look through pictures for the last couple of days since i last did this and just drop them into a folder so i've got a folder that says week one 2019 week two week three week four and i just drop them in so they're all there so the ones i'm using on my spreads are there and then that's kind of job one. Job two then when I get a chance is to open the Project Life app. Oh, excuse me, the Project Life app and just put my six by fours together. So I'll either put two on one to do these pockets or sometimes on the bigger ones, I'll do a bit of a collage. So that's job two. And then I have a separate folder called to print so I can go through and stick them all into print. So when I'm planning, if I want a full six by four photo, I stick it straight into print. And if I want these ones, I stick it in the week three, week four, Project Life, uh, week, uh, yeah, Project Life folders. And then I know when I'm in the app, which ones need making smaller, does that make sense? Um, and putting two to a page. So then when they do come and they are printed, I can just match up. So that says Bailey in a box and whoever, you know, I can match up what week they are. 
I can separate them out by weeks because the weeks are in the, the right albums on my phone. So I can just check which week they're from. And then I can open that spread and I know which ones go where. So that's helped a lot. So I've got lots of notes in, in terms of which picture goes where. But this is what I've been doing, which has really helped me as well. For each week, I've got, let's find a blank week. I've got each week laid out. So this says week eight, which has got the dates, 18th to 24th February. And then I've put in a, an extra wallet. Oh, this one's a smaller one. With any memorabilia. So this week we obviously went to the National Trust Mill. So I've put that in. Um, so I've put kind of bits in. Week 10, I've got this to slot in. And Ava's first little bit of artwork, which is just in a plastic wallet. So this has really been helping me because when I come to do this week, obviously the phone needs photos to arrive, but all the bits that are going in are in. Um, so week 11 has got, sorry, sorry, next one. Week 12 has got a, a menu from somewhere we went. This has got, week 13 has got a, a plastic wallet with cards. It was Mother's Day. So this has helped me. So this is what I kind of wanted to show you really. Week 14. So when I'm setting up my album, I put in all my page protectors I put a little piece of paper in that says week whatever and the dates and then I, in between I put a you see just an A4 plastic wallet so when I come home that week if we've been somewhere and we've got something I can just slot it in there rather than putting it to one side so let's find a one that's got a bit more in it um where are we at this one for example we went away this week so this has week 21 which is these dates and I've slotted a plastic wallet in and then that's the back pages. So when we came back from being away, all the leaflets, all the things I'd picked up that I wanted to include in my project life, I just slotted in this. This is a silly note that my dad wrote because he was looking after the dog to say the dog had been well behaved. So it's all just bits that, and this is like packaging from things that I ordered for Ava that arrived. They're all in there. So when I sit down to do this week, all my fun bits are there. Um, and again, this is packaging for some toys that I bought Ava that are in there. Um, Oh, this week I did hands and footprints with Ava, they're in there. So it's kind of got, my memories are here, if that makes sense. I, yes, I've got to print some photos to put them in, but my, they're in they're in the albums on my phone and they're ready to print. So I just need to order them and everything's there. So I just kind of wanted to jump on and show you that I have managed to kind of keep track of what we're doing, <laughs> roughly. My album is set up, but in terms of printing pictures and getting them in, I'm up to the 27th of January. <laughs> So I've got a bit more to do. So I'm going to I'm gonna make a real stab at this this month. So I might do another update at the end of, what are we on? The 2nd of September now. So end of September, I'm going to do another update. I'm going to show you where I'm up to in this. And hopefully I'm past the end of January. <laughs> so thanks guys. If you've got any hints and tips or any other ideas. Um, like I said, this seems to be working for me, putting this plastic wallet in between my pages and just slotting in things these live in my living room on the bookshelf so I just can come in if we've been out for the day like we went to the farm last week I can come in I had a farm leaflet I had a receipt from a toy bought a bits and pieces and just pull this off the shelf slip that in the plastic wallet and then go I can deal my photos later I've got all my kind of memories and bits in there so I just thought I'd share that with you um any other ideas any quick tips I think I'm gonna kind of take a leaf out of Inky Quill's book and make a sofa scrap kit I think and just sit and try and get as many spreads done as possible but like I said, I'm going to film an update at the end of the month and hopefully I've got a bit further on and got a bit more to show you. So thanks guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.